Welcome back, friends. Lost Scarf here, and it's time for more Professor Layden and the Miracle Mask. So let's continue here. We actually made some progress in the story this time. <laughs> We're gonna go see Orlando Bloom now. I swear that's his first name. The story so far. At the City Hall, Layton uncovers one of Montior's greatest secrets. Accompanied by Emmy and Luke, he returns to the race course to talk to Detective Bloom. Alright, talk to this guy first. Oh, a puzzle! I can't believe someone made off with one of the cards without my knowledge. This is no petty criminal, is it? Indeed, it's not. I have the impression our culprit is rather accustomed to this sort of work. Not only that, but this kind of operation would require money, time, and help of others and a familiarity with the town. I see. Well, I do hope the police bring him to justice soon. I don't suppose I could tempt you with a puzzle before you go, could I? Let's see here. Puzzle 125, a day at the races. I'm really curious what the point of all this is. Uh, with the masked gentlemen. Do they hate Henry? Do they hate the town? Like, what is the point? Hooray, the races are on! Three groups of tradespeople have been invited to watch tailors, winemakers, and upholsters. That's the people to watch. Okay. The seating area for each group have been arranged so that the sponsors can tell at a glance which is which. You can tell which group of trades uh, tradespeople are sitting in the yellow area. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Winemaker? Oh, okay. I see. Alright, okay. So, winemakers, tailors, and upholsters. Upholstery is, I guess, uh, furniture? So, what tells you wine? What tells you upholstery? What tells you tailor? Are there supposed to be letters here? It could be letters here. Like a C there, or this is supposed to be a wine bottle or a hammer. Chair! Chair, shirt, wine bottle. Alright, so there you go. Yellow area is clothing. Don't keep me in suspense. Yep. Pattern recognition. No puzzle without a solution. Correct. The red seating area is shaped like a chair, so that's where the upholsters will sit. The blue seating area is shaped like a bottle, so the winemakers will be sitting there. And finally, the yellow seating area is shaped like a shirt, just right for the tailors. Problem is, this seating is jack all for certain people. Like certain people sitting in certain areas, it's gonna suck to be you. Puzzle 125, a day in the races. I can't in good conscience keep the race course open with the mess gentlemen out there. Do you mean because you might be inadvertently creating an audience for one of his miracles? Yes, exactly. Alright, I got it right. Okay, Bloom! Professor, we've determined who took the chariot. And did this information lead you to the masked gentleman's identity? If only it were that simple. It seems our man bl blended in flawlessly with the chariot inspectors. We're looking at the mas a master of disguise here. He and his associates deconstructed the cart and then told Miss Lador that it needed to be repaired. And when they were done using it in the parade, they brought it back here and reassembled it. I see. Then what exactly do you believe is the masked gentleman's intention? He wants the mask of order, so it has to be... S s ha so it has to have some sig definite significance to him. As for what he plans to do with the masks, well, I'm at a loss. All we can say is that his intentions are undoubtedly malicious. Detective Bloom, do you believe that the masked gentleman is currently at the reunion inn? Most definitely. It's the perfect location for his purposes. I don't think he'll be leaving anytime soon. There's a tram stop here, near here, that goes straight right by it. I have a few leads to check. Would you mind investigating the reunion inn in my stead? Not at all. As a matter of fact, we already intended to do so. I appreciate it, Professor. Now please excuse me, I must be off. He really is very thorough with his work. What other ways do you think he ha was talking about? Do you think he's working on something else? I really couldn't say. 
What now, Professor? Hmm, based on what we've witnessed so far, I'd consider Henry the main suspect. But it seems that that's just what the masked gentleman wanted me to do. All along, he's been trying to incriminate Henry with a bag of manipulative tricks. He knew that when his miracles were exposed, all roads would lead to Henry. So the masked gentleman, whoever he is, is trying to frame Henry. But we know he's Mr. Dawson, so who else could it be? I don't know. Yet, not yet anyway. Let's head to the Reunion Inn. I'm really curious if Randall's a red herring. According to Tec Tec yeah. According to Detective Bloom, we should be able to access the Reunion Inn from this tram station. How do we get tickets? I'll explain. We can either touch the egg. Oh, we already did this though. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, alright. I don't I'm surprised he hasn't explained that, but I guess just in case. Easy peasy. So the Winion Inn is the, the grandest hotel in the city. I'm ex I'm getting excited. Let's buy our tickets and get going. That's a big old place. It's got a... what do you call that thing? Oh! Cutscene! <gasps> Whoa! So this is the Reunion Inn! I can't remember what those things are called right now. How are we going to look for the masked gentleman in a huge place like this? One room at a time, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, look who's here! Okay. I can't remember what these things are called, because I used to know what this word was. I knew what this word was! What is this thing? Oh, I can't remember what it's called right now. It's a Dark Souls tower. Okay, let's see. Last tram. There's a bench. There's that guy. Don't want to talk to that guy. At least not yet. The main gate greets weary travelers with open arms. I can't remember what it's called right now. Is there a zoom in? Ooh, there's a zoom in. Ah, oh, so we can look up here. Is this really a hotel? I don't believe it. Jeez, who built this? Paradox Cuffling? Like, building this intentionally. Okay, I think they may be actually be overdoing this a little bit. Like, structurally speaking, holy crap up there, right? Like, it's certainly a playful if eccentric design. My biggest fear with some of these buildings is when they're this tall, like one of them tipping over. Obviously, they don't tip over easily. They usually just concave on themselves. But like, seeing these extra bits, those things you could fly over. How does this part even stay up? Yeah, that's the amazing design of these, uh, these arches. But I forget what it's called right now. Like, it was like this ingenious design when they came up with it back in the day. I mean, way back in the day. Alright, okay. Guess there's no hidden puzzles or anything. Or coins. Can't even see the bottom, so where are the foundations? Alright, talk to Guy. Oh, no puzzle! Friends, rumors! Gentlemen, lend me your ears. You are on an outing to the Reunion Inn. The tiny sparrow tells me that under this most starry of skies, those that wait here are reunited with an old friend. And now I see the rumors are true. Well, I suppose you're right, Aldous. My good, gracious, and gentle man, please bear with me, for I must know how many puzzles you have solved. You fulfilled the quota that a gentleman should and could. Oh, celebrious day, a most learned a gentleman you are. You have not betrayed my expectations. Please go right on ahead. I shall be watching over you from below. Ever your good friend. Thank you, Aldous. Thank you for creeping me out. Moving on. Oh, this guy. There's a reunion in. It's definitely much bigger than our hotel. Now this is somewhere I could get used to. Given the name, I gather Henry has some special feelings for this hotel. But this is where it all began. Yes, this hotel was an expansion of the first building that Henry put up while he searched for Randall. He never gave up hope that he'd meet his friend again huh, one day. Yes, Henry never gave up. Oh, look who it is! The freaking puzzle right here. So they work here, not at the other hotel. Ain't that something. You talk to the guy after. 
Every detail of this place is so classy. Right down to the staff's uniforms. Don't! I click on Mondo? Yeah, I did. Or don't. Good evening, and a most humble welcome to the Union Inn. I don't remember a voice I had for this guy. Mr. Madant? Wait, so, uh, oh, I've never mentioned it, have I? Among my duties to Miss Lodo, I also happen to be the manager of this hotel. This way, please, we've been expecting you. I heard from Miss Lodo that the masked gentleman is believed to be hiding here. We're not entirely sure yet, but we'd like to investigate the premises. Yes, of course. We'd most appreciate it if you could find him before he strikes again. But I do have one condition. I'm aware that Miss Lador invited you here? However, I also understand that you once suspected Mr. Lador in the recent incident. As we stand, I cannot in good faith cooperate with you. I am Mr. Lador's personal assistant, if you remember. But perhaps to convince me of your intentions are true, would you be so inclined as to solve this puzzle? This puzzle-based economy is so ridiculous. Alright. Alright. Two, one, three, four, mystery. Numbers out for the door of room 2134 in this hotel have mysteriously gone missing. In that place, the management are using long rectangular plates. The 2, 1, and 3 are represented by the plates shown. Then which of the plates A to D should be used in place of 4? What? 2, 1, 3, question mark. Two and three look the same! Alright, okay, alright, I have no idea. Why is that two? Why is that three? Why is that one? I mean, why is that one? Why is that three? Okay. Two, one, three, four. Uh. I don't get it. Okay. Let us take 60 seconds to try to figure this out. Uh, two and three. Why do they look the same? Or are they the same? Are they the same length or is like three smaller? I don't I don't think it is. Hmm, I don't know what the pattern could possibly be, so we're gonna need hints. So let's go hint number one. Yeah, two, one, and three are each represented by brown two brown plates. The plates for the two and three look the same, and neither of them look like numbers. Maybe they're being affixed to the door in a special way? What? What? Next. You notice that the only plates to be fixed for the one are the same width as the available space. Well, how? What would it look like if you put the plates in as they are a minus, a minus sign? You need to turn them first. That's how you get a one out of this these plates. Oh, oh uh, well, okay. I still don't understand. If you fix the plates for the one as described in hint two, the remaining uncovered space in the square for is number one. I guess it's a number one. Okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's see here. So we're doing negative space here, I'm guessing? So by negative space, Alright, so, so by negative space, uh, you can fit a one right here in the middle, right? Uh, so these two things... Uh, okay, so a two would be like what? Like this? Is that why it's a two? And so a three is because you could fit a three like this? Is that the reasoning? So what could you fit around a four. One would assume would be made no well, it could be this this thing where it's like this. Maybe that's meant to be a four. The only guess I can make the only guess I can make, so see. I believe I have this one. Nope! Alright, well then I don't know. That's unfortunate. 
fix those plates at the door. Peculiar. Okay. Right, try again. If that's not four, then is this four? Yeah, I lost some peek rats here. I believe I have this one. No. That's unfortunate. I refuse to believe B is four. Now, why would D be four? How could D be four? It can't be D. The balls? I guess it could be D. D. Don't keep me in suspense. Okay, why is it D? There is because no puzzle without a solution. The logic the hints were giving me did not pan out. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, okay. I got those right. I got... Oh, you can move the shapes. Damn it. That's why. You can move the shapes. You put that there, put these there. See, that's what I didn't get. That's what I didn't get. Uh, Alright, fine. Correct. The answer is D. Once the plates are affixed within each square, the uncovered space in the square forms the number. There's a handy way of saving your own materials. I see. I see. Dang it. Alright, fine. Fine. That's another un incorrectly solved puzzle. Let's go. The finest one, the greatest treasure, has been unlocked. Simply splendid, Professor. You have fully convinced me of your intentions to help Mr. Lador. I shall assist you however I can. As largest hotel in Mont Dior, we also have the most rooms. If you need help navigating the place, you need only ask. It's really... it's reassuring to have you on our side. Oh god, there's more places to go! I've prepared a room guide for you. You'll find it on the touchscreen whenever you are in the hotel. Just indicate the room you wish to please search and I will guide you there. We are far from done with this game. When you wish to leave the reunion in, touch the door icon in the top right corner of the screen. I can't thank you enough. No trouble at all, Professor. Our motto here is arrive a stranger to part a friend. Let me know if you need anything. I've memorized every inch of this hotel, so please don't hesitate to inquire about anything. Are there any rooms here that are regularly used by Mr. or Mrs. Lador? Yes, I believe I can help you there. As a matter of fact, I was specifically intending to ask you to investigate such a room. Well then, I'd like to see it. Yes, right this way. We're gonna do the bunny show, though. Look around a second. Okay, let's do the bunny show. It's time to do the final bunny show, then we're done with the bunnymen. This is it, Snowball! And I'll be rid of you forever. Okay? <laughs> the greatest treasure. Bunny is hard at work pre pre preparing for a harsh winter, but Fox is just playing. How will it all end? How is Bunny still alive? The script is going to require 15 different actions. Got it? Alright. The forest braced itself for a bitter winter. Bunny was hard at work getting ready for the coming weather. At the start, you need to look hard at work. So, dig? Yep. Yeah. One day he helped Squirrel to collect nuts. Uh, chatter, why not? Another day, Bunny helped Bear collect wild strawberries. Alright, furtively look around. Bunny was busy every day. He even dried grass for bedding while the weather was still warm. Fox, on the other hand, never helped out and just made fun of all the other hard-working animals. How would you feel if Fox was making fun of you? Angry. Alright, so that would be... Stamp. Yep. Like, motherfucker. Then winter came. This year, it spared the forest no mercy. Fortunately, Bunny's hard work paid off, and he waited for the return of spring. Snug and warm in his cozy home. Cheer! One chilly winter's day, Bunny went to the river to find Fox looking quite forlorn. I go with awe. Bunny felt sorry for Fox and asked what was wrong. Concern. Oh, Bunny replied Fox, I'm so hungry I can barely move. Oh, pfft, I go back, there's concern. So, concern goes here. And, um... Yeah, just do sneak for now, okay. I asked Squirrel and Bear for help, but they ignored me. They just left me here in the cold, he cried. Give it your best look of concern. Yeah, there you go. 
That night, Bunny was still worried about Fox, so he went back to the river to check up on him. Rance. Fox is lying in the same spot, sobbing to himself. Bunny felt so sorry for Fox that he invited him back to his house. Don't! He decided to share with Fox the nuts and strawberries that he had worked so hard to collect. Oh dear. Yeah, sure, why not? Hand one. <laughs> then there was a knock at the door. I want you to look surprised when you open the door. So surprised. Bunny opened the door to find both Squirrel and Bear standing outside. They had brought their own supplies of food to share with Fox, too. Show how happy you are. Uh, okay, so. Don't. Prince. Cheer. Okay, let's go with cheer. So get rid of this one here. Yeah, just do that and then put this over here. I'm just putting random things in places that don't matter, I guess. Cheer. Fox was so overwhelmed by their kindness that he promised to work hard from then on. Bunny looked at his furry chums and thought to himself, Sometimes saying your feelings can be embarrassing. Show it! Okay, so that's... I don't think we have it right now, do we? I think we already used it on accident. Uh, where's the bashful one? Uh, maybe I haven't used it. There it is! Embarrassed! Haha, <laughs> blush! There it is! Whoops! I still had it. Blush. The most important thing in life is not delicious food or a large house. The most important thing in life is a friendship. It's a happy ending, so make it feel like one. Uh, how would I? How would I make it feel like a happy ending? The end. Alright, how do I make it feel like a happy ending? How... Um... No? Well? Oh, just go with Jig! Go with Jig! Who doesn't like Jigs at the end of movies? Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and just make sure we got the answer correct. Dig. Rants. Jaunt. Stamp, got that one correct. Lump. Handwalk. Wiggle. Worry, got that one right. Sulk. Eureka. Shatter. Shock, got that one right. Sheer, got that one right. Blush, got that one right. And Jig, got it right. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. Alright, good. Good news. Good news. Let's go. Enough. You'll like this one, but I think I'll enjoy seeing you act even more. The greatest treasure. The forest braced itself for a bitter winter. Hmm, that's the way to do it. Bunny was hard at work getting ready for the coming weather. One day he helped Squirrel to collect nuts. Another day Bunny helped Bear collect wild strawberries. Bunny was busy every day. He even dried grass for bedding while the weather was still warm. Fox on the hand never helped out and just made fun of all the hardworking animals. Good. Rabbits can't bottle up their feelings forever. Then winter came. This year it spared the forest no mercy. Fortunately, Bunny's hard work paid off and he waited for the return of spring, snug and warm in his cozy home. One chilly winter's day, Bunny went to the river to find Fox looking quite forlorn. Bunny felt sorry for Fox and asked what was wrong. Oh, Bunny, fo replied Fox, I'm so hungry I can barely move. I asked Squirrel and Bear for help, but they ignored me. They just left me here in the cold, he cried. Beautiful. Anyone would be able to feel your concern for Fox. That night... Bunny was still worried about Fox, so he went back to the river to check up on him. Fox was lying in the same spot, sobbing to himself. Bunny felt so sorry for Fox that he invited him back to his house. 
he decided to share with Fox the nuts and strawberries that he had worked so hard to collect. Then there was a knock at the door. That's the one. That's the look I wanted. Bunny opened the door to find both Squirrel and Bear standing outside. They had brought their own supplies of food to share with Fox, too. Ah, I wasn't expecting that, but well done. Fox was so overwhelmed by their kindness that he promised to work hard from then on. Bunny looked at his furry chums and thought to himself, Just the right amount of modesty. Grand. The most important thing in life is not delicious food or a large house. The most important thing in life is friendship. Exactly as I envisioned it. Bravo. Oh, bravo. Hmm. Absolutely outstanding. I think you might just have what it takes. Congratulations! And we are done. We did it, Snowball! I'm sure the Wingmaster will take you back after that stunning performance. <laughs> Rousey, don't make me blush! I can't wait to get back to the circus. It's been so long. I bet everyone misses you. It'll be great to be back. Yep! Hmm, Luke? Where is it, Snowball? How would you rate my performance on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, well, I'd have to give you one... One huge hug for getting a perfect 10. I, I don't believe you. You're the best bunny in the whole wide world. How could I ever give you less? You work so hard for this. <laughs> snuff, snuff. I suppose it's time to say goodbye then. But I'll come and see you all the time. To make sure you work hard and give that audience a show to remember. I will. Thank you so much, Luke. I'll never forget this. Goodbye, Bunny. And now we get more puzzles because of that. Congratulations. The rabbit performed to the Ringmaster's satisfaction in every play. The Ringmaster's house has been added to Leighton's challenges. That will be done post-game. We still visit the rabbit, uh, the bunny. Okay. Rabbit. Okay, so we're done with that. Have those two been there the whole time? I don't think they were. Okay, so... Save so I don't lose that on accident. Because that's a bit of a work. Okay, let's keep going here. We got time for more puzzles. We haven't gone that done that much. Go so back to map. To the office. And what is this room exactly? This is the private office where Mr. Lador conducts his research. This isn't quite a ti as tidy as a study. Well, Mr. L Lador is a very busy man on the cleaning staff uh, under no circumstances to be allowed in here. You'll find all the documents related to town administration and planning are archived here. Why did you show us this room, Mr. Mondant? Because I want you to know the truth. This room is filled with the hopes and dreams of Mr. Lador. Even though every thought he had as he built Montior remains here. I imagine any doubts you might still have about him can be cleared up here. Please feel free to investigate his room, as long as you like. This wall is the same as the one that was in Randall's room, and this toy. But after all that, Henry was still... Professor, at the back of this office is a rec records room where Miss Lador keeps various important documents. Since you're already here, would you care to see it as well? I hope to be thorough in aiding your investigation. Yes, of course. I mean, Luke, I'll be away briefly to investigate the records room. Could you two continue investigating this room while I'm gone? Leave it to us, Professor. Be like pictures were a bad idea. <laughs> then, Mr. Mondon, please lead us there. Lead, lead the way. As you will. As you wish. Come on, Luke. Let's see if we can search the entire room before the oppressor gets back. Yeah, we should still be thorough and inspect anything that looks suspicious. Bunny says there's a hidden puzzle here. Alright. There's a robot here. This picture frame has a picture of some children in it. Oh, when they were kids. Robot! It looks like Henry, but who is that next to him? Is that the professor? No. No, that must be Randall. They look like siblings. And look, isn't this robot the same one Henry's holding in the picture? I think you're right. It's rather old, but someone's been keeping it in really good shape. 
But why would Henry keep it in his office? Maybe it's a memento? I don't think it's going to help us, so let's move on. This tour robot has clearly been treasured for a very long time. This wall is covered with writing. The professor said it looked just like a wall in Randall's room. Oh, the language. Wait, you don't think he took the wall from Wanda's house and bought it here, do you? It's possible. This is the City of Miracles, after all. Wow, it must contain some clue about the ruins, but it's all in code. Can you read what it says? Maybe. I had a library on hand and a few years to spare. You must have had some other reason for bringing it here beyond just trying to decipher the writing. Right, if that's all he cared about, he could have just copied or taken a picture. Yes, I know, Bunny. I'm looking. I am looking, Bunny. Oh, hey, item. Got a shovel. Found a hint coin. Hmm, hotel registers. These list the names of the guests in their rooms. There probably won't be any clues about the masked gentleman in there. Or would there? Hmm, that's true. Even if he is here, we don't know what name he's under. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Hey, what about his binder, uh, Emmy? Records of the masked gentleman's appearances, including copies of the warning letters and announcements. Henry was trying to pretty hard to catch the masked gentleman, too. It must be horrible to see someone trying to destroy what you built. And I think we suspected him. If the professor and Henry had just cooperated all along, they might have caught the masked gentleman by now. I think Henry felt betrayed when the professor didn't stay in Stansbury to help him search for Randall. They weren't exactly on the best terms. Why do I have to make things, these kind of things so complicated? Where are you, Hidden Puzzle? I will find you, Hidden Puzzle. Maybe, I don't know. I'm looking. The pack full of documents and fly, files. Sword Puzzle? Sword Puzzle! Wow, those swords are really cool. I wonder if they're real. Ah, this is where our discerning eye comes in handy. Inspect the hilts and you'll see they're part of a puzzle. Ah, you're right. Naughty swords, let me let me at them. Oh dear, they're naughty swords. Okay. What is the question? Oh, it's an easy one. One of the three famous swords shown here are, is one of the legendary Ace of Diamonds. Those who have faced in battle all call it so. Can you work out which one it is? Like, is the red herrings here? Or, like, there's you got the diamond shape on the C. Is that a red herring? You've got the diamond shape on the B. Is that a red herring? Then you got A with nothing that tells me that? Diamonds are red. Why would it be the ace? I'm gonna go with A. I'm gonna go with A. Going with A. Going with A. Let's see if this is right. Got it! Alright, good, okay. Take that puzzle. Correct! Yeah, there it is, yep. Sword A's, they's diamonds. Anyone who's ever seen it from the pointy end, why it knows why. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I figured, because it looks like a card thing with the, the square, the rectangle. I got it right! Do you think the swords have anything to do with the masked gentleman? Not likely, but at a guess, I'd say they're ornaments of uh, Henry's. They are rather impressive. What if we'll have a sword fight between Leighton and the masked gentleman? Another puzzle! And a book! This, this looks like some sort of journal. The cover is all faded. It says Expedition Log! Could this be the journal of one of the search parties that went out looking for Randall? There might be more information about the mass of chaos in here. Hmm, there are some photos stuck on the inside. Do you think there's a clue in there? No, but there's a puzzle! 
Okay. Faded photos. Forage photos have been stuck inside an old journal. They're faded and hard to make out. But they all show the same place and seem to have been taken within a short space of time. In photo A, you can see a horse-drawn carriage traveling across the frame. Can you tell which direction the carriage is headed? Okay. Question is, where's the carriage in, in B and C? Okay, well, time goes by. So, if the sun is here, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So, sun's here, sun's here. So, A, D, C, B. A, D, C, B. So if the sun is setting towards the towards the right, and the right is the west, then we are staring south, right? Rise in the east, sets in the west. Yeah, so we're staring south. Okay, here we go. Got it right. Woohoo! That was no match for my wits. Booja. Correct, it was heading south. A leaf ha has fallen from the left hand tree between the times photo A and B were taken. Really? Ah, oh, I know. So we can assume the sun was setting. Since the sun sets in the west, the viewer must be east of the carriage, and the carriage is therefore traveling south. You just needed B and D to give you the answer, really. Well, no, you needed these to show that progresses that way, I think. Whatever, we got it right, we got it right. That's what's important. The fact that they're in this journal must mean they were taken during the search. If it's really a record from the search for Wendell, maybe there's something about the mass chaos in here. That could well be. Luke, let's have a look. A look. Got seen? Oh, no. Our search for the ruins of, for the Lost Boy continue. We use the inn by the Oasis as our base of operations now. The ruins are a dark and ominous place, and no one would even dream of going in there without the enormous sum of money being offered as a reward. Uh, yeah. I've hardly been contributing out of the kindness of my own heart, either. We were only a handful of men to begin with, but now we've turned into a full-blown expedition team. Men descended into the narrow pit by the oasis every day with the prospect of finding the boy and striking it rich. We've had no luck so far, but the boy Henry Lador certainly has. The word is he struck gold down here, a pile of treasure big enough to make your eyes boggle. The ones Leighton found? In fact, I've heard that it's how he's been able to offer such enormous reward for finding his friend. And so we press on, delving deeper and deeper into the ruins. Just recently, we found a strange room with two mysterious pedestals. Oh, that's where Le Leighton and Randall were. This chamber seems to be the final room of this underground complex, and we have created a scaffold to connect it to the world above, but we can't go any further. Unless we've all grossly overlooked something, our search for Rando Ascot is coming to an undeniable end. After all, it's been over a year now since the boy went missing. Soon this will all be forgotten. Mont Dior was built upon forgotten, forgotten ruins, and perhaps one day Mont Dior will be forgotten too. But they never found him. He mentions being based next to an oasis, so I suppose Mont Dior probably wasn't even a city yet. You think that have we ever stopped looking for Wando? Considering the state of this room? No, I don't think he'll he ever stopped. Anyway, it looks like, as if we've just about exhausted his journal. So have you two found anything? Yes, Professor, look! It's a log from an expedition uh, that was set in Rwanda. We also found a journal that Henry has been keeping. Good work. And I made a discovery of my own. What? The mask was there? Is that the Mask of Chaos? But I thought someone stole it from Henry's study. Does this mean Henry really it was the masked gentleman all along? All that about the mask being stolen was just a lie? Well, not exactly. 
But then why would Henry hide the mask here? It wasn't Henry who hid it. I'm confused. Hang on, is that actually the Mask of Order? The one that the Masked Gentleman wants? Not quite. You see, I expected to find a replica of the Mask of Chaos here. A fake mask. But to my surprise, this turned out to be the genuine Mask of Chaos. It seems that someone placed it here, but why? And is the Masked Gentleman even aware of this? The answers are yet unclear, but I know there is a deep connection between these questions and the next miracle. I also found something else rather interesting. Where is it supposed to be? What does it say in the corner there? Is it Montior? It doesn't look anything like what it does now. Indeed, this is an old prospective map of the, how the town would look as development progressed. It also reveals a rather fascinating secret about Montior. Does it seem as if these ruins are laid out rather deliberately? Now that you mention it, they do seem to form a pattern. I believe this explains why the masked gentleman has been so intent on finding the Mask of Order. Really? Why? Before I share my thoughts with you, I'd like to confirm my suspicions by finding some more evidence. According to Bloom, the masked gentleman is somewhere in this hotel. Mr. Mordaunt, are there any other rooms you may think to, to be of interest to us? Actually, Professor, I just remembered that I have something I was asked to hold on to for you. Terribly sorry for the trouble, but would you mind returning to the lobby with me? Very well. So we'll stop there for now. So save here. And next time, we will uncover more of this mystery. So that right there is the game for now. I have fun, hope you have fun watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time. Ooh, there's a bunch of these. <laughs>